go from being really laggy to getting over 300 FPS and even hitting 400 at times. Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to increase your FPS, the easiest ways to boost your FPS and all that stuff. Before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm trying to hit 10k subs, it'd mean a lot to me. If I already hit 10k, hit the subscribe button anyway because I post quality content. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go over some basic settings because some people don't know about these, but uh, some are obvious, some aren't obvious, so let's get right into it. So you definitely wanna play on full screen, that's gonna have a dramatic uh, effect on your FPS. I used to play on windowed screen, make sure you're on full screen, it'll help a lot. And then if you actually turn your resolution down all the way, um, it might make your game look slightly less good, but for some people, that might help your FPS as well. So uh, you can try that, but uh, Sometimes it doesn't affect it for like for me on um, my PC doesn't really affect it But uh, on my laptop for example lowering the resolution will increase the FPS so much so uh, make sure you try that out for yourself and uh, If you set this to a lower amount if you have a lower NPC for example You can try 144 FPS if you're not getting that much You can try lowering it to 120 and that might make it more smooth and more consistent and uh it might help your FPS a little more because it's not constantly trying to reach the 144 if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. Basically, 144 is going to make your PC run harder. 120 won't, so that could help. For example, my PC, if I set it to unlimited, then uh, it's going to take a lot of power on my PC and it could actually do worse than setting it to a lower amount, like 240. For me, I only have a 240 hertz monitor, so I only need 240 FPS. Setting it to 360 and unlimited is not necessary. If you only have 144 hertz, I recommend setting it to 144 and so on. Now for graphics, brightness doesn't really matter. For quality presets, um, basically 3D resolution might have a little bit of impact, probably not a whole bunch. And this is the biggest like effect that it will have on your game out of all of these settings. So. Uh, if you don't have to change that, it'll help make Fortnite look more smooth. But if you really need the FPS, you can lower this. It will help your FPS. Next up, obviously setting these on their lowest amounts will help. But uh, you, I recommend view distance on Epic just because that's competitive settings. You want to have the best view distance you can. V-Sync, turn that off. Motion blur, turn that off. Show FPS, well, if you want to see your FPS, you can turn that on. Direct version. So as you guys can see, it may offer a performance increase over the Direct X11. So that Direct 12 could help, but it's in beta. So uh, I do have to re restart, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I have to restart my game in order to do that. So yeah, if you're looking to get some more FPS, you can try out the 12, but uh, it might have some glitches, I guess. It's in beta, but it could help performance is what they're saying. If you have a multi-core processor, then you can turn this on. If you don't, you can turn that off. So having this on can decrease your performance. This, um, so this is just the HUD. You don't really need this. Won't affect anything. This is basically to help with ping, I guess. So I don't think it'd affect uh, your performance. This is just something to test stuff. This is for more fancy settings, so make sure that's off for sure. All right, so now that we went over some basic game settings, I just want to give a few tips. So for one, make sure you have no programs running on your console or PC. You know, if you have Spotify going, Google, editing software, you know, anything like that that can slow your computer or console down. Try to close everything you can if you are looking to get as much performance as you possibly can. All right, after that, you can go to gaming. Oops, that did not work. After that, you can search for settings and then go ahead and go to the gaming section. So I actually have this on, but uh, you want to have that turned off because that's just constantly recording in the background. So that will decrease your FPS. Game mode, you want to turn this on because this uh, optimizes it. Windows has like an optimization for gaming. So you can turn this on, but make sure game bar is off because that'll affect your performance. Unless you want to, unless you want to record clips, of course, then you can keep that on. All right, the next, 
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is change the performance. So right now I have it on let Windows choose what's best for my computer. We're actually gonna hit adjust for best performance and then apply. And this will basically make it so you have the best performance rather than the best appearance and this will increase your FPS for any game. Another thing that you can do is disable startup apps. So you can just search up startup apps and I have a decent amount just because some of these I need but basically go through this and turn off any that you don't really need and it'll say the impact it has so that has a high impact I can turn that off but I don't know why that's on anyway but uh, yeah you can just go through this and that'll help with your performance as well It can also help your performance if you close out uh, basically everything running. So when you close a program like Google Chrome, it doesn't actually quit it. If you do this, then it'll actually quit. So uh, you can go through that and uh, exit programs that you're not using and that'll help your performance. You can also go to programs and uh, this will basically help with your RAM and storage and uh, that will essentially boost your FPS and overall computer performance. So you can go through your performance and you can sort it by size. I mean, not performance. You can go through your apps and basically sort them out and uninstall if you don't need them. And that'll help as well. If you think your computer got slower or slowed down for some reason, you should try to check for a virus or something like that. So uh, another tip would just be careful on what you download and uh, make sure you're not downloading from sus websites because that can definitely slow you down your computer if you install a virus. Another thing you can do is change the power plan. So right now we got balance and then for some reason I'm on raised or cortex, not sure what that is. But uh, we can go to show additional and you can go to high performance which will definitely speed stuff up as well. I guess you could also try out the Razer if you have Razer products. I'm not sure why I have that, but uh, I'd go for a higher performance if you do have it. Something that's kind of a worst case scenario is you can completely factory reset your computer and this could help with your SPS because obviously it's resetting everything. So if you had any files on it that was slowing your computer down or ha had a lot of programs, anything like that. I've actually had to reset my computer a few times and it really helped with FPS, it got everything organized and it just got rid of a lot of junk and people, but obviously I don't, I know everyone doesn't want to reset their computer. Thanks so much for watching, I hope this video helped, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, I'm trying to hit 10k, if I'm already at 10k hit the subscribe button anyway because I post some quality content anyways, thanks for watching, bye.